Hello, welcome to my channel. This is Claudemir Martins with another video. Very, very interesting. You can already see here on my screen. I'm pointing a camera to some cars that that's passing by close to my window. Okay. And that's the subject of the video today. License plate recognition and shutter speed. Okay, people are asking me to talk about this, how to capture license plate, how it works. But guys, uh, we have a lot to do, a lot to understand about um, license plate recognition. In this video, I will talk about the basics. I will talk about shutter speed, okay? Something very, very important to understand. And later in other videos, we can talk more about license plate recognition. So let's start from the basics. So I need to, to show something to you guys here, some theory, okay? About shutter speed. We can see already somebody holding their camera. It's uh, to capture photos, right? So inside of this camera, you have a shutter. You can control the shutter speed. So this is, the, this is the principle of the capturing images. If you are a photographer, for example, you understand a lot about shutter speed and the same concept applies for CCTV camera. So let's understand how it works, okay? So here in this picture, I have two uh, separate objects. In fact, it's an object, it's a car, right? And it's a person. So here I have a fast movement, the car is moving and we can't see clearly here the license plate. That's different for the girl. I can see clear, clearly here, she's not moving or she's moving slowly. So I can see much, much better the girl and I can't see the car. Like I, I still can see the car, but I can't see some details like the license plate, for example. Okay, that's because of the shutter speed. So the shutter speed freezes image in fast movement. Okay, I'm quoting freezes here because what I mean is that you can see the image clearly, right? Without this blurring that we can see here. Just like the girl, the girl, the girl is like not blurred. I can see the girl. I'm like freezing the image here for this girl, but it's not freeze it for the car. Okay. So if you control the shutter speed, you can have the car just like the girl without blurriness. Okay. So here is my camera. At least let's pretend it's a camera. Okay. It's a simple design here just to let you guys understand better how it works. So I have here my lens and here my camera. And back here, my sensor. Okay, the sensor is gonna capture the light that comes from the lens. So here is the light coming through the lens and hitting the camera sensor. That it could be a CCD or a CMOS, depending on the camera, okay? And here what I have, it's a shutter. And this shutter can control light. That's the idea, the shutter can control light and it's going to control the exposition to light, exposition time to light. So the light's going to hit the sensor for a longer time or for a shorter time. That's depend of the shutter. That's the shutter do, right? The shutter does. The shutter can control the exposition time here the, uh, of the light that hits the sensor. I have an animation here just to explain a little bit better. Okay, so I'm moving the the shutter from the sensor, in front of the sensor, I mean away from the sensor, okay? So that's the lights hitting the sensor directly now. If you get uh, a camera like uh, to take pictures, an old model, you can see that a camera has a sensor and a shutter just like this one. So uh, in, in this camera, the shutter moves away from the sensor, the light can hit the sensor just like this drawing, okay? And then it comes back and blocks the light. That's a mechanical stuff. We used to have this on old cameras, we don't have anymore. Nowadays everything is electronic, but the, but the principle is the same. The light is hitting the sensor, the light is not hitting the sensor anymore. The light is hitting the sensor again, not anymore, okay? You keep like moving this away from the sensor and in front of the sensor in the old cameras, mechanical stuff working that, that way. 
electronic stuff you like uh, enabling uh, enabling some circuits to do that electronic okay so the over idea is this when you control the shutter speed you control the exposition to light for how long the light is coming to the sensor let's say for example the lights hitting the sensor for 1 over 30 of a second or 1 over 60 of a second 1 over 100 and you keep going like this okay 1000 4000 12000 120000 oh you see here it's pretty slow 1 over 30 of a second and here it's pretty fast Okay, so the light hits the sensor just for a, a fraction of a second. Okay, it's pretty fast, right? So the idea is that if something is moving in front of the camera, the camera is configured like this, 1 over 30, definitely you have the image blurry. Okay, if somebody's walking in front of the camera, not that much, you can still see the people walk in front of the camera, not blurring, just like we saw the girl here. But if they start moving faster, running or something like this, you start seeing like blurry in the image. Okay, blurriness in the image. So what you do, you just ad adjust your shutter speed to work faster, like one over 60 for a second, so you can freeze the image. If it's not enough, you can go to one over 100 of a second and you keep going. You keep going, you keep going, you keep going, all right? So let's say you have a car, and, and then for a car to capture license plate, you can work around here, 1 over 100, 1,000, and 1 over 4,000 of a second. Okay, so it, it's working fast, and you're, you're like freezing the movement of the car. Of course, all depends of the lens aperture, the distance of the camera, uh, how fast the car is moving, a lot of stuff here, okay? But just to have uh, an idea, over idea, most of the project I work with, I work with uh, 1 over 1,000 up to 1, four, uh, 1 over 4,000, okay? Just around here for license plate recognition or LPR, okay? So in this case, the car here with a blurry image like this, it's working in a fast movement and the shutter speed is pretty slow. That's why you have this image blurred like this, okay? So probably it's working with one over 30 or one over 60 or one over 100. So it's not enough. If you increase here to one over 1000, one over 2000, maybe you're gonna freeze the image and have the image just like the girl. Okay, so you can read the license plate. That's the idea, okay? So your software can receive a better image and the software can, can work on the license plate recognition. Because the idea is that you capture the image meaning the camera captured the image, right? Sent to the software and the software does the recognition. But the software, if the software receives something like this, it can't work. It's not a magic software. It doesn't work if you send something this, that way to the software, it's not gonna work, okay? So you have to work on your images. So basically, again, shutter speed, you, you can freeze the image in fast movement, okay? So I will, let, I will show the example here for you guys again with my camera. So here I'm pointing my camera to the window. It's an IP camera. I can configure the camera. So an IP camera has a lot of configuration. I mean a lot, okay? But let's go here in camera setup so I can configure something related to image. I'm not configuring anything related to to IP, to protocol, or something like this, okay? I'm just configuring now something related to image. So if it if it was like a, a analog camera, the principle would be the same. So it doesn't matter if an IP camera or analog camera. I'm talking here about image, the principles of image, okay? So here is an IP camera, so I can configure it remotely like this. I can come here to exposure time. And here I can find minimum shutter speed and maximum shutter speed. You see, one over five to one over 12,000. Okay, if some, so the camera is working between those numbers in this range. 
Okay, when the camera is working like with slow shutter speed, it's using one over five. When it's working faster, it's using one over 12,000. So that's not a good idea, okay? Because if somebody passes in front of the camera, better put something like this, one over 60. Just let's move to one over 60. We see the camera adjusting itself, okay? Here we go. Camera adjusts itself and that's it. Okay. So if I have a project, I should work like this. I should come here to the camera, adjust the camera, record some video, test it to see if the image is not blurry. And if it, if it is blurry, I come here, I increase again, let's say to one over 180. Okay. And keep doing like this. So I can work with the minimum shutter speed and the maximum shutter speed. So you can ask me, why don't you just go and put something like pretty high, like uh, one over five, 5 thousand of a second? Because you see the image gets darker. That's the idea that the, your shutter is working fast and the image will be darker. You need more light to illuminate, to illuminate the, the, the place if your shutter speed is working faster. So you got to find out which works for you, but it's not that fast okay let's say for example one over 500 is not that fast but it still can freeze the image of course i'm not i'm not doing this right now here it's just an example i can't even see license plates here it's just an example i'm pointing the camera to my window okay but suppose you are like in a real situation you're pointing to a to a car coming so you can measure it you can like start testing with the car and uh, running the video to see if it's working, okay? And then you start like adjusting this just that way, okay? In other videos, I can show this better. I can like put the camera in front of a real car and I can adjust this so you can run some tests and you guys can see it better. But in this video, you need to understand a little bit of theory about shutter speed. See, we, you're just talking about shutter speed. There's a lot of stuff here. We're just talking about shutter speed, okay? So let's come back to the presentation. Here we go. Okay. So we are when we are working with the shutter speed, you need to understand that the slow shutter speed has a longer exposition to light. Okay, one over thirty, for example, has a uh, longer exposition to light, and the image is brighter. Okay. When you're using fast shutter speed, you have shorter exposition to light and the image is darker. So brighter here with low and darker image with fast shutter speed. Okay, so that's the idea. You need to adjust and be careful with the light. And you, you just need to adjust uh, enough to capture, capture the image, static image without blurry, but not that fast. Okay, so that's the overall idea. So uh, the, f the the faster shutter speed frees moving objects. That's the idea of this video. Okay, it's very useful for license plate capture recognition, and you can find those information in the menu here in the, or the camera catalog. Here, an example I have here: the information that the camera can work with two, up to two, to one over twelve thousand of a second. The sh using the shutter speed.